I thought some people might be interested by this who watched the little movie I made. Uh, this is the editing interface I used to uh, make it. Uh, this is the Final Cut Pro application from Apple. And it's got a few windows. Down here is the uh, bin window. And the bin window is where you keep all your clips and you put them inside folders just for organization. Uh, all these little images down here, thumbnails, represent the uh, clips that I've used. And if I click on one of these, you can see that uh, up here in the source window, they would move up to there. And uh, I would select them. And then I would find my ins and out points, so like this. I would go move around, play, play the clip. And once I decided what I wanted from there, I'd overwrite or insert into the record monitor. And the record monitor is a representation of your uh, sequence, which is uh, shown down here in the timeline, it's called. This is just an assemble of uh, all the clips I've been using. And as you can see right here, it's kind of a little editing technique here, where uh, I try to provide emphasis on the uh, sound and the visual, so I actually have the hit happen with the music. So here's a little representation of the whole timeline. I'm just zooming in here, moving around, trying to find this one shot. As you can see, there was some color correction done. On the left is the Flyboy shot, which uh, obviously is not the right color to match up with the uh, Blue Mac shot. But here is the uh, color corrected shot. And the color corrected shot obviously is quite different. Uh, I'll just open it up here. And once I've opened it up, you can see I've just applied the Final Cut Pro color filter. Uh, which is three color wheels. There's the lows, mids, and highs. The lows are the black areas, and the uh, mids are the grays, and the highs are the white areas. Yeah, And I just adjusted those so uh, they'd match up with the uh, Blue Max footage. Otherwise, it wouldn't look very convincing now, would it? So you can see it was quite different. But it seems to blend pretty well. Uh, there's other uh, applications, Colorista, and uh, Apple's color that you can use. But I just stuck with this because it was a pretty simple project. Now there's a lot of uh, good tutorials that people have put up to help beginners on YouTube. I've noticed elsewhere for other applications as well. Um, things like asynchronous trimming, uh, more in-depth color correction, little tips maybe as far as using the application Final Cut that I might be able to help people out with. Uh, I can maybe create a video for them. Uh, just leave a comment if there's something that's really bothering you and keeping you up all night and you can't figure it out. Or uh, send me a message and maybe I'll make a video and hopefully answer your questions. Later.